In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add up additional information in our tooltip. As you can see here, we can see here in the pie chart Monday, value of 18, and then we can see here company, and then this will be shop one. And if we move over or hover over the different slices, we see all different company names. So let's start to look how to add the information in the tooltip of a pie chart in ChartGS4. First of all, we have here this border template, which you can find here on this specific link, which you can find as well in the description box, which is ChartGS3.com getting started. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code. And next, if you want to have the final end result of the source code of this specific video and more, you can check out this uh, Patreon here to support my page. All right. We're going to scroll down here and then what I want to do here is convert this first into a pie chart. If I save this, refresh, there we are. We have now a pie chart, but I want to remove all these scale values or lines because we don't need any grid lines here because we're working with a pie chart. So I'm going to remove here the scale. There we are. And now what I want to do is if I hover over the items here, I want the tooltip to add up an additional point of information. To make it very simple, I'm going to add up here something else. So I'm going to say a comma and then we say here, let's say your company. I'm going to say here this will be the company and this can be shop one, two, three, etc etc. So I'm going to put in here additional information like that. Shop three, shop four, and of course more uh, five and finally here let's say shop six shop seven all right make sure you have a comma here save refresh the reason why we're allowed to do that is because this is still just an object so this is an object with an array within it and that's all allowed because this is just basic javascript but of course it doesn't recognize this object name so what we're going to do now is start to create the tooltip or at least do some customization in the tooltip so we're going to see a tooltip then within the tooltip, oh, sorry, this is not tooltip, but we're going to say plugins first because the tooltip is assigned in the plugins namespace. So then we're going to say here tooltip, and then we can indicate here what I want. However, what I want to do is I want to add up the shop, whatever the shop would be behind here, the weekly sales and the number. To do this, I need to call here a callback or I use the callback namespace, and then in here, I want to pinpoint the label specifically and the label is basically this part here with the text. So now we have this, then I can say your context and if I do context here and I'm going to say function error expression for the callback functionality, then what I want to do is here first of all, let's explore what does context show us. Save this, refresh, open up the developer tab and then if I hover, you can see here we get information of every tooltip information or the tooltip itself. And you can see here, we can see the data set, but what is important for me is data set index or the data index, which indicate index number zero, which is probably the Monday, which is the first one up there of that. And next, what we need as well, the data set index, which indicates the index number of that data set. Since we only have one data set here, that's what index zero. So now what I want to do is I want to first extract those. So I'm going to say constant and I'm going to say here data set index will be equal to what exactly? Well, this one, the data set index. So I'm going to say here context.data set. Next, I want to say here const and we're going to say here data point equals context. And then we say dot and we need to have here now the data point. So the data point in this case is the data index. So I'm going to copy that, put that in there. Then once we have this, if we save this, of course, nothing happens yet. What I want to do now is start to show something. So let's say a return for now. And let's test this return. I'm going to say here, hello. If I save this, what will happen? It will show now, hello, no matter what, because it's a static value. So what I want to do, I want to make sure we get, first of all, we get the label, which is Monday. Then I want to get the value. And then finally, I would like to get whatever the company name is here. So what I'm going to do here is uh, let's start and get the specific value. So we have here the parts and we have here the label. So I'm going to say here 
con uh, context dot label. If I do just this, save this, refresh, you'll see here now we get Monday or whatever the day would be matching with that slice. Next, what I want to do is I want to get the value of it, and the value here in this case would be where we can get get here the number. And or we can just go in here and get the index number here of the data. So it's one or the other. And I guess we can just do it in here because we have the company as well, which will use the same methodology. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change this now and I'm going to say here template little. So I'm going to use back tick back tick. And I'm going to say a dollar sign, curly braces, and then what I want to do here, context dot label. And you will see now this is just a variable because this is just an easy way of concatenation. So it still shows the same item. But now I'm going to say your column as a string value and it will recognize this is a string value. And then I want to get the value out of the item in the data set. So to get there, all I need to do here is basically this. And let me just show you a console log. Is a context dot data set dot and then let's see here context data set dot and we can say here the data let's grab this data and then we see here the, even the index number that we want so data index number and the index number will be the data point here so if i do this refresh now you see 18 12 and etc etc it will get the ones that we need all right so now we can just grab this and say dollar sign curly braces put that in there refresh all right so now we get again the same item now what i want to do is comma and just say shop whatever say comma shop and then we're going to say here or company and we're going to do here basically the same methodology if i go in here you can see your data sets company same structuring so i'm going to say here data set to copy this put it in here but then instead of data, I'm going to say your company. Save that. Refresh. And now you can see here, Monday 18, comma, company, colon, shop one, two, three, four, five, and etc. etc. And this is basically the way how you can add up and create additional information in your tooltip.